Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in Signals and Systems. In this video lecture, we will consider a numerical in DTFS. The task is to determine DTFS of the signal x of n is equal to cos pi by 3n and draw the spectrum. So I have got two, two tasks here. One is to find the DTFS, another is to draw the spectrum. Yes, let us begin with the numerical. So I will start with the solution. Yes, it says, let me write, given x of n is a discrete time signal which is equal to cosine of pi by 3n. So, can I compare this with the, uh, with the original signal in the sense the standard signal? So, comparing this, so let me write one sentence, comparing with cos of omega naught n. So, if I can compare this with the standard signal cos omega naught n, I could find omega naught. What is omega naught? Omega naught is nothing but the angular frequency. So, therefore, I can write straight away omega naught is equal to pi divided by 3. Is that correct? The next thing is I need to find the fundamental period. How can I find the fundamental period? To find the fundamental period, I need to talk about the periodicity. So, can I say x of n is periodic? Yes, I can say x of n is periodic. x of n is periodic if it satisfies the condition. What is the condition? If, if the fundamental frequency, the fundamental period, capital N, is a rational multiple of 2 pi. So, I repeat, it is a rational multiple of rational multiple of 2 pi. So, where did I get this concept? This concept comes from the very first module, the introduction to signals and systems. So, there we talked about the discrete time signals and the periodicity of those signals. I would say the discrete time signal, cosine signal, sinusoidal signal is periodic if the fundamental period is a rational multiple of 2 pi. That is, it must be a multiple of 2 pi into m divided by n. So, what is m divided by n? m and n both are integers. So, I said it is a rational multiple of 2 pi. So, what is rational here? It is m divided by n into 2 pi. So, if I can arrange cosine pi by 3 n in terms of something like this, it's its angular frequency. If I can arrange it something like this, I would say it is periodic and once it is periodic, I can get the fundamental period capital N equal to. So, that is the very first task we need to do. So, can I arrange uh, omega naught? In our case, it is uh, pi divided by 3. So, can I write it in terms of uh, 2 pi into m by n? So, let us, uh, let us check. Omega naught is equal to uh, I want 2 pi, but 2 is not there, but pi is there. It's well and good. So, I just multiply the numerator and denominator with uh, uh, 3, uh, sorry, with the 2, so that uh, I would get 2 pi in the uh, numerator. So, what is there in the denominator? Uh, if it gets multiplied with uh, 2, I'm going to get 2 pi by 6. So, again, if I simplify, I'm going to get uh, pi by 3 back. But the task is, I'm just rearranging it as a rational multiple of 2 pi. So, let me write this again, 2 pi into 1 divided by 6. So, now I have arranged this very much similar to this, correct? So, therefore, I can get the fundamental period capital N equal to. Therefore, let me write the fundamental, fundamental period, fundamental period, capital N in our case, it is going to be 6. So, this is very important. Capital N equal to 6. The given signal x of n is periodic with the fundamental period n equal to 6. So, once I get the fundamental period, once I get the period, I can find the DTFS coefficient. So, how do I get the DTFS coefficients? One way is, one way of finding, one way of finding uh, DTFS. One way of finding uh, DTFS is. So, what could be the way? I have the equation for x of k. So, this comes from the definition of DTFS. x of k is equal to 1 over n 
summation n over the range capital N x of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n wherein k varies from 0, 1 till 5 because it is the fundamental period has uh, 6. So I can find I can find the DTFS coefficients using this formula. So how do I find it? First, I will put n equal to 0 to 5 and uh, I will put the value for n x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of uh, x of 5 till that x of 5. So I will get one expression and later I need to vary k again 0 to 5. That is one way of finding the DTFS coefficient. But I would uh, say, say that it is going to be a bit tedious process. So what I do is I will not make use of this equation. I make use of another equation of DTFS and I can uh, rearrange cos in terms of exponential and I can find the DTFS coefficients directly. Without doing any, math any mathematics, I can find DTFS directly. So how do I find that? For that, uh, rearrange uh, rearrange x of n x of n in terms of in terms of exponential exponential so how is x of n given so let me write x of n is equal to cosine of pi by 3 n so now how do I want to rearrange it I want to rearrange it in terms of exponential so what is cos theta so we already know this cos theta is equal to e to the power j theta plus e to the power minus j theta that gets uh, divided by 2 so this is the way to find uh, cos theta rearrange cos theta in terms of exponential so now I'll do the same thing x of n is equal to e to the power j theta theta in place of theta I have pi by 3 n divided by 2 plus e to the power minus j theta theta is again pi by 3 n that gets divided by 2 is this uh, fine so now what i do is i'll just uh, rearrange it one more time so that it becomes very much easier for me to find the ddfs coefficient so i'll write 1 by 2 first e to the power j I don't know what is a k so I'll just leave this as it is and then omega naught omega naught is pi by 3 n so only k I need to write so let me write that later so again plus 1 by 2 e to the power j k omega naught is pi by 3 n k I don't know so what I do is comparing this, so let me write, comparing this with the standard form of uh, the DDFS equation, which is given as x of n is equal to summation k over the range capital N. Here I will have x of k e to the power j k omega naught n so i can compare these equations very well because this is also x of n and this is also in terms of x of n so now i can compare them i can find the coefficients very easily that is the best way to find dtfs coefficients so what must be there in the bracket now to satisfy this equation so i cannot put any value blindly i cannot put 2 i cannot put 3 i cannot put 4 uh, whatever i put there must be a reason so i have to put here 1 so if i put 1 here so it must be equal to the original expression e to the power j pi by 3 n so by putting only 1 it makes the sense is, is that okay so i cannot put any other values as i said here what must be the value it must be minus 1 if I put minus 1 I could get back a to the power minus j pi by 3 n so is that okay so now if I can compare these two equations so by comparing I can find the DTFS coefficient so what is the first coefficient just compare in place of x of k I have 1 by 2 e to the power j it is there in place of k I have 1 
omega naught it is pi by 3 n is uh, uh, in place of n i have n so what must be the first coefficient in place of k it is 1 so here this must be x of 1 equal to what is x of 1 is equal to it is 1 divided by 2 correct and similarly just compare these two equations now uh, here uh, in place of k i have minus 1 therefore the dtfs coefficient is minus 1 that is x of minus 1 and its value is 1 divided by 2 so this is how i find the dtfs coefficient these are the two coefficients and uh, I, I know that n is equal to 6 when remaining four coefficients are going to be 0 is that okay so this is how i find dtfs coefficients the next task is to find uh, is to draw the spectrum so how do i draw the spectrum for that uh, let me get x axis and uh, y axis so this is the spectrum uh, which i have drawn earlier uh, this is the graph of x of k with respect to k i got x of 1 so let me right i got x of 1 as 1 by 2 so here i would uh, draw this x of 1 as 1 by 2 correct that is the first sample and x of minus 1 is also 1 by 2 x of minus 1 is also 1 by 2 so for these things let me write this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 so let this be the starting point starting from minus 1 and 0 will be 0 x of 0 will be 0 x of 1 is 1 by 2 x of 2 will be 0 x of 3 will be 0 and x of 4 will be 0 so this is the first sample uh, the first sequence so six samples must be there just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 correct so this is dtfs coefficient the next task is uh, this is periodic the sequence uh, repeats now so the next sample it's it can start from 5 so the value must be uh, 1 by 2 so let me just draw here uh, 1 by 2 so this is uh, 1 by 2 and uh, the next sample would come at x of 7 because in between there is a zero correct yes done so here uh, i would call this as a zero so this is uh, one by two this is one by two this is one by two zero one by two and i'm going to have uh, three more zeros here something like this so this is the next sequence similarly it would appear somewhere something like this here also so here first three zeros here correct and I would have uh, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 would appear here, right? And another 1 by 2 that is after uh, 0, and that would come over here, that is at x of minus 8, and uh, 0 is in between. So let me just write this is at the value minus 8 and this uh, its amplitude is this is 1 by 2 and this is also 1 by 2 so this is how the ultimate spectrum looks like and this is how we found dtfs uh, coefficients x of 1 is and x of minus 1 are equal to 1 by 2 and uh, i know that it is a period it has a period of 6 and remaining four samples must be zero correct yes this is how uh, we solved a numerical on uh, dtfs uh, very easily I did not find the mathematically in the sense I did not make use of this equation x of k rather just by comparing I could find the DTFS coefficients and I would suggest that this is the easiest and best way to find DTFS coefficient and to draw the spectrum yes I have explained everything step by step I hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section I would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos in signals and systems till then thank you everyone for watching